Pearl can be one of those materials that can be really tricky to get right. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks to try and get good looking pearl material. Starting with this, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this web page. Let's go ahead and download this image here. One of the reasons that Pearl often doesn't look great in 3D renders is because the colors for the iridescence are not right. And so we can get around this by importing and using this color spectrum here, which is the correct spectrum of colors that you would see on something like soap bubbles. So go ahead and save this image and then import it into Blender as a texture because we're going to need it. So go ahead and make a new material and call it Pearl. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the roughness to something like, I found 0.225 to be a pretty good, a pretty good value here. And then I'm also going to add a glossy BSDF and a mix shader node. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix between the BSDF and the gloss and plug this into the surface output. So we're going to make two things. We're going to make a Fresnel and we're going to make the base color. So let's start with the Fresnel. So go ahead and add a Fresnel node and change the IO, uh, IOR to 1.53. And if we, if we click this, if you have the Node Wrangler enabled, you can shift click this to preview it. Uh, you can see here, right, it's sort of highlighting the, the edges of our material. What I want to do is to bring in that color. So over here on the left, right, if you remember, right, we added this as a texture that we downloaded. If you uh, go to this drop down menu, you could just open it here. And then I'm going to shift A and add a color ramp. And a neat trick you can do here is to, on this drop down arrow, click the eyedropper. And then go over here on the left, and we're going to click and drag from the left side of the spectrum all the way over to the right. This is going to take a second, but it's going to sample that texture and put all these values into the color ramp. All right, that took a second, but here it is. You can see now, right, we have this color spectrum brought in here into our color ramp. Let's go ahead and plug the Fresnel node into the factor of this color ramp so we can look at it. And you can see here, we get this nice effect on the outside edges of our, of our object. All right, so let's plug that into the color on our glossy BSDF. And then we can go ahead and leave this because this is actually, this is actually done. You can see already that it's starting to look kind of correct. So let's keep going. Now let's work on our principled BSTF for the rest of our material. And I'm going to add two things here. I'm going to add a noise texture. And I set the scale to 1.5 and the detail to 1. And another color ramp, but I've inverted this color ramp. So I've just taken the black handle and the white handle and reversed them. So you can see here what that, what that looks like. And I'm going to plug in the Fresnel to the vector input on the noise texture. And you can see here that we're, if I preview this, um, this color ramp, you can see on the color output, we're getting it um, sort of just here on these edges. I'm going to take this color and plug it into the metallic on our principal BSDF. So now you can see, right, it's got this sort of uh, metallic sheen to it. But our base color here on the principal BSDF doesn't have any color, and so we're going to fix that. I'm going to add another noise texture here, and I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm not going to change the scale or anything. And then I'm going to do two things. I'm going to add a a mix node and I want to mix mix color and what we want to do is we want to blend in this color ramp from above so I'm going to shift D to duplicate this and bring it bring it down into our base color so I'm going to plug the factor of our noise texture here into this color ramp if we preview it you can see it looks like this uh, which is a little bit a little bit crazy uh, but we'll take that color output from the color ramp and plug it into A and then if we preview this, you can see it's it's less intense. But what we want to do is to mix it with an off-white, because Pearl is not quite white. So I, I have, let's say if I just drag it like here, that's a color of like FFBE6. It's like a little bit yellowish, yellowish white, or maybe like F4, F0DC. It's not quite white. And I'm going to change the factor to something like, I don't know, 0 0.8 or 0.8. 825, you can see it's really subtle. And this is this is part of one, one of the reasons why it can be tricky to get Pearl to look correct is because it has all of these really subtle features. So let's take the result of this mix node and plug it into our base color. And if we preview the principal BSDF, you can see now it has that, it has that coloration. Now we, we want to use the Fresnel node to blend between these two. So we have our base color here, we have this glossiness here. We want to add these two together in our in our mix shader. 
right now our mix shader doesn't have a factor so it's just blending them together um, sort of one by one one by one and so we don't want that we want to use the Fresnel to blend these and so I'm gonna add a color ramp here and what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna add an invert color node and plug the color from the color ramp into the invert color node and then if I preview this invert color, right, you can see that we've got some Fresnel, but it's 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 really uh, sort of restricted to the edges. I'm just going to drag this white handle like all the way over so that it's really starting to sort of come through. And then I'm going to turn it down, maybe something like this. You can see we've got this uh, sort of subtle effect here where we're only going to get sort of a bit of that, uh, a bit of this, this uh, glossy up here mix in because this is like way too strong. So let's take the invert color output here and plug it into the factor on our mix shader. And you'll notice here, right, now we've got this subtle effect here. If you click on this right handle here and you drag the color um, from white to black, that allows you to control how much of this gets blended in. I think that's sort of up to your personal taste, but I find that like a pretty dark gray looks pretty good because uh, again, right with Pearl, it should be pretty subtle. The um, the effects shouldn't be too too strong, otherwise it can sort of take away from the appearance of the material. And I'm also finding this metallic a little bit strong as well. So down here on our noise texture that we have plugged into the metallic output, I'm just going to take this left handle that's white and make it uh, maybe a little bit less white, not by much, just a little a little difference here. And maybe I'll just adjust this um, base color as well to something like point, I think it was 0.825, 0.8, somewhere around there. Depends how strong you want this to be again, but I think this is looking pretty okay. So there we go, that's our pearl material. If you like this type of content, you know, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the normal things. Uh, it really helps the channel to grow. And so if you would like to see me make more materials, uh, it sort of lets me know that this is something that I should actually be spending my time on. In any case, that's all I have for you for now. So until next time.